please get ready for a dictation of exercise number 9 from progressive magazine of may 2022 5 seconds start i am happy to be in the midst of veteran workers with life long devotion to the cause of rural welfare i am sure the seminar which i have the honor to inaugurate will evolve a comprehensive and action oriented strategy for rural development we cannot forget that more than 80% of our population lives in rural india and the progress and prosperity of our nation depends entirely on how far we are able to improve the economic and social life of the rural masses it has been my faith for nearly half a century ever since i came under the influence of mahatma gandhi that the key to the future development of our nation rested on our ability to bring about a total economic and social transformation of our villages in which the real indian lives as a matter of fact i prepared a blueprint on this question and sent it to pandit jawaharlal nehru where i mentioned the need of organizing the 700000 villages in the country on a purposeful basis at that time i felt that if we could have on dedicated social worker for every seven villages we would be able to energize the rural folk what was required and is even now required is to have dedicated workers who will completely identify themselves with the problems hopes and aspirations of the people the strategy for rural development that we evolve should have both a social and economic content in my view it should tackle the twin problems of ensuring maximum agricultural productivity and a massive growth of agro industries in our country there are a few pockets of rural prosperity notably in some areas of punjab and haryana if we analyze carefully the reasons for this one finds invariably that it is only in areas where agriculture has been developed into a core of an industrial network that agrarian prosperity follows agricultural progress this would imply the need for an integrated plan of cropping and the growth of agro industries unless we involve the people in the formulation and implementation of plans we cannot make much progress the panchayats representing the collective will of the people can and should play a positive role in economic development panchayats in our country unfortunately have earned a bad name as being caste and faction ridden 
this must change and we should banish outright these old world attitudes for rural development to be most fruitful panchayats and panchayat organizations should be made the most effective instruments bureaucratization and politicalization have also been the bane of panchayat institutions these factors could be obviated by emphasizing social accountability and voluntary action at grassroots levels our rural folk are essentially good people and if we provide them the right leadership and approach their problems with sympathy and understanding the villages of india today can be converted into ideal centers of cooperative community life the progress of the entire nation depends upon the progress of the rural community in my view village reconstruction with self reliance and self sufficiency as the two principal goals to be achieved is the most effective way to meet the challenges of poverty and unemployment it is only through utilizing the available manpower resources in the best manner possible that we can achieve a breakthrough from the present stagnation you are well aware of my emphasis on that setting of the landless through land colonization schemes while land may be allotted to individuals it must be ensured that it is not transferred in our anxiety to provide land to the landless we are not embarking on programs by which we are trying to give pattas and rights to individuals giving of an acre or two to an individual landless farmer in my opinion does not solve any problem for he does not have the necessary wherewithal for the development of the land and putting it to productive purpose such uneconomic holdings usually go back to the money lenders or to the big farmers who try ultimately to deprive these poor persons of the land whenever we give land to the landless it must be made clear that they should form into cooperatives so that they can jointly cultivate it and derive maximum benefits there would be collective ownership and therefore for practical purpose the entire project area will be managed as a part of the larger entity and individual interest will be subject to the common will and progress where there is a collective endeavor several aspects of modern scientific agriculture like proper pest control and water management becomes capable of effective adoption the essence of my program is that all available land will be put to agricultural activity with a vast network of small scale industries growing around them women have also an important place in this scheme 
because they can engage themselves profitably in occupations like beekeeping poultry dairy weaving tailoring etc this in my judgment is the best way to raise the standard of living in our country by providing full employment to our masses stop